Hi there. This lesson, what I want to do is work on 24 ways of playing a 2-5-1 chord change. Now, 2-5-1 simply means it's the two chord of a major key or minor. This lesson is going to be dealing with major, the five chord and the one chord. So for instance, in the key of C, the two chord is D minor, so we'd probably play D minor 7. It's from the minor family. The G7 is the five chord. That's from the dominant family. And the one chord is uh, major, and that's from the major family. So we have three different types of sounds. And two five ones are important because most jazz standards and your uh, standards that make up the Great American Songbook, for instance, are, are uh, composed almost entirely of 2-5-1 changes, or it might be just 2-5. So it's really important for us to learn these and get them into our fingers. Now, the thing about jazz is, what I like about it is the fact that you kind of never play anything the same way twice. Now, when we have a 2-5-1 change, say D minor, G7, C, in the key of C. D minor 7 would be like this, G7, and then C, C major 7. Now, that's a very sterile way of playing it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy, and, and it's not too exciting. But there are ways of playing those chord changes with using our direct substitutions for each one of the family groups, I could turn that sound into this. So you hear how that is a little nicer than this. We got so what we want to do is we want to program into our thinking and into our fingers how to play a 2-5 change that it sounds good, but it's not that just stock two five one without the alterations that that's going to be found in the music. The music is not going to give you the alterations. In other words, generally it's not going to say play a D minor uh, eleven here, a G thirteen with a flat nine the, uh, for the G seven chord, and then C major 13 for the one chord. It's just going to say D minor or D minor 7, G7, and then C or C major 7. And it's up to you to provide the the colors, the other colors that could that make the chord change interesting. So that's what we're going to be working on. So that when you see that in a chord change or in a piece of music you're going to react with one of these kind of uh, stylings, one of the, these chord voicings. And it's going to make your playing a lot more interesting. Now to help us really learn this, I provided a track. Now the track is the same track uh, of the chord progression that we use for the 2-5-1 single note lines. So you might have gotten that lesson already or you might be working on it now, or if you haven't got it, I advise you to get it. Two, one, two, three, four, B minor, B7, A major 7, A minor 7, A5, 13, substitution for D, G6, Starting with C minor 9. 2, 3, 4. E minor 9. E 13. A major 7. 13. Okay, let's move to number 3. F sharp minor 9. Letter 
J. One, two, three, four. There's 12 chord voicings playing 251. So this is 251 chord voicings number one that we just finished here. And I showed you 12 ways in 12 different keys of playing a 2-5 change. Now again, I want to reiterate the fact that you need to go back and take each one separately, play it up and down the neck, through the backing chair chord changes just with the one then play them all in line in succession once you've got that done and uh, I also want to make this note too some of them are gonna you're gonna like some of them you're not gonna like you you might think ah, it's too much bother it's too hard or whatever and you know that's fine because that's gonna define you as a player on how you do it but I do want you to stretch out and use some new voicings some of these are cool, but decide which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to throw away. And that's okay to do that. All right, next, let's move on to 251 chord progressions number two.